Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the authority of officers of the company. Authority refers to the power to give orders and to make decisions of a company. And we have actual authority and then ostensible authority, which is brought about by the act of holding out. Yeah, so let's first look at actual authority. Actual authority is that authority which has been expressly given to somebody which is easily as ascertainable, e.g., outrightly availed by the articles of association. That power that, that is given to someone may be using a document or when someone is appointed, yeah, when someone gets the power by mail, that's what we call actual authority. And then ostensible authority is that authority which a person is held out as possessing an example is if some officer lets another one to do his duties in his presence and he doesn't interfere he has held out the other person as having the power to do such things so ostensible authority someone just assumes the authority that they have it and they do things that the other person is supposed to do yeah so let's look at the limitations of the doctrine of holding out. Yeah, the doctrine of holding out, it's assuming power, assuming that you have the power to do something. So it has limitations. And the first one is holding out is only applicable where it has been carried out by a competent officer or organ of the company. Yeah, when, when someone who is assuming power is a competent officer of the company, it's okay. The second limitation is that the officer being held out must be one who occupies a position or an officer can enter into such a contract. And thirdly, according to the case of Freeman and Locker versus Buckhurst, before the doctrine of holding out can be used against the company, the following tests must be satisfied. First is that a representation must have been made that the officer in the question had the authority yeah then such a representation must have been made by a person who had actual authority to manage the company and then thirdly the third party was induced by the representation to enter into contract the person who is holding out must have been induced by the representation of someone who had the actual authority to enter into such a contract and then lastly, there were no suspicious circumstances, like someone is holding out, maybe they just want to take your position, or they're up to something. Yeah. And that was all about the authority that is possessed by the officers of the company. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and watch my next video. We shall be talking about enforcement of the members' rights.